it's a nice problem just only thing is here to understand things properly find the derivation of a day on the planet what, what what do you mean by that time period nothing but omega is asking so we don't know this omega if you know omega you can bring the time period what is the formula 2 pi by omega that omega have to be calculated with all this information and what is the gravitational field strength uh, formula g E2 should be equal to the, the density of that. Can you can we write the mass of this be M2 or M? This is the M0. Time being, let, let me assume that one. The density of this we don't know again. The density of this is we don't know. Only radius is given, density is there. So the relation between there. So what is the value here? Looking at the first thing, G M0 by R square. 1 by 3 times g m by r square uh, r by 2 whole cube r by 2 whole square uh, what is the radius of this planet r by 2 let's get into g get cancelled so m naught is what we assumed it no so this should be d naught by r square 4 by 3 pi r cube 1 by 3 this m is what density we don't know r square by 4 4 by 3 pi r by 2 whole cube 4 by 3 pi r cube get cancels here 1 r square in the denominator also get cancels so only i think we'll get relation between d and d naught here Anybody value? Four and th this will be two will come here, no? Anybody value? D, D not relationship. Okay, I I'll do one thing. Yeah, somebody is. Yes. B equal to 6D naught. Oh, okay, no, fine. Huh? Okay, th there's the one equation, keep it here. So there's a relation between the densities. Huh? Okay, no, uh, after this, what to do? Now he's asking. He also found himself to be weightless at the equator. What do you mean by that? Means the gravitational field and the weight here should become equal to <coughs> the weight of the person should be equal to the centrifugal force. Then only it is possible, no? Again, again, at this particular point, at point three, what actually happens is uh, this is some, I think, the ma mass of the person. So what to do? M dash, I'll write it. M dash. Pseudo force will act on him. I and the weight. M dash E3 and, and centrifugal force M dash omega square R by 2. These two are equally spelling. So that M dash E3 is equal to M dash omega square R by 2. So yes, he is assuming, we are assuming, sir, but we know equator, radius of the equator and pole are different. He, he asked us to assume it to be like a spherical. If it were some other values, no, you would have mentioned. So you can assume it to be spherical both the planets planet and earth so m dash get cancelled so e3 is equal to omega square r by 2 what is e3 value e3 value is similar to e2 only oh wait 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 some calculation huh? we have to E2 is what? That of the planet, no? I'll, I'll, I'll write it here. It should be E1 should come here, E2, E2 should be here. But the question given E2 equal to E1 by 3, no? Some some changes I to make it. Huh? I think some it went wrong. 
symbol e2 is what for planet e2 should be 1 by 3 times of e1 I'll, I'll, I'll rewrite here I'll rewrite here okay okay it should be like this huh? just check it this this one by three I like just here okay now now tell me the answer no please please uh, equation one Two by three D naught. Mm, yeah, fine. Okay, now uh, th th there's a condition. So what is what is E three value? E three value is nothing but equal to E two. E three is nothing but equal to E two. So substitute that and get the omega. You get the required answer. So what is E three? E three should be equal to E two. So this will be G M by R by two whole square. What is m? So we know density of that. Everything we have to just get into calculation. No, this will be g four r square. What is m? Mass of this planet should be density d four by three pi r by two whole cube equal to omega square r by two. Four. One one r, r r gets eliminated r cube and here r square is there that will get eliminated here four 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 square will be there here two cube and this one one four also gets so four by three g and what is d is equal to two d naught by three equal to omega square. So what is final omega will be omega square is equal to eight g d naught by nine or omega equal to eight g d naught by nine. Check it. I think the uh, eight by pi pi, pi. will be there. Huh? Uh, here here pi. Mm. Then what what is the time period? Two pi by omega. This will be our answer. Okay, this is okay. No, uh, this is the the net weight will be zero. Means there's a condition. I should put it. The centrifugal force will balance the weight. Okay, this is one very good question. Let, let's see that how you. Read the question. 